Hi ladies, welcome back. It's Sally. It's Wednesday. I've got a cup of tea. It can mean only one thing. We're going to have a little catch up. This week I wanted to tell you what I've been doing for my poor, dehydrated, very dry, irritated skin. And I'm also going to talk about natural beauty and what that really means in the eyes of the beauty industry. So if you're ready, let's get started. So first up, let's talk about my dry patches. So I've had a lot of dryness here around my nose, little breakout happening here, and it's all down to the fact that I've upped my retinol, my tretinoin, and I've used some actives. It's really important when we start to increase retinols or any actives through the winter time, because that is often the time that we do it, that we also think about hydration. So I wanted to show you my faves this week, my absolute faves. First of all, cleansing. In days gone by, cleansers used to be quite harsh and we'd need a cleanser and a toner and a moisturizer. Things have changed. I mean, things seem to have got more complicated but cleansers are definitely better than they used to be. This one is fabulous. This is a cleansing oil. It's by House of Josen. You remember last week I was talking about how I love Korean beauty, but that is a whole new video. This one smells like a spa. It is stunning. It melts makeup as well. So I'm loving this and it's really gentle, super moisturizing and perfect if you're having a bit of a dryness or irritation. Botanical ingredients, it is divine. I can't rave about it enough. Love, love, love this. So that is my cleansing oil. I also love this cleansing balm. I mentioned it last week. This one is Juno, Juno Co. It is called the Clean 10, I think. Yes, Clean 10, 10 ingredients. That's it, and this is from Japan. Absolutely love those. Now they are great for normal to dry skins, I would say. If you are prone to maybe uh, breakouts, acne, sensitivity, then this is one that I would recommend. It's anti-dryness, it's a fabulous one. And this is for those of us that have got sensitive skin, acne prone skin or breakouts, any kind of sensitivities, even sort of eczema, those type of things. That is a great one. La Roche-Posay, uh, Tolerian, I think that that's how you pronounce it. And that is superb for those of us that are a little sensitive and a bit worried about using something new. So those are my cleansers that I'm using. Now, upping the ante with hydration. You know I love the COSRX snail mucin. I've got it here. I talk about it all the time. It's the best, but it's a bit boring if I just talk about the same thing all the time. It's like castor oil. I mean, I wouldn't have a channel if I just spoke about castor oil all the time. So I wanted to talk about hyaluronic acid. Obviously, we all know hyaluronic acid is the stuff that our body has, that it creates, that helps with plumpness, that dewy plumpness that we have when we're younger. As we get older, and certainly as we go about the winter time and we're in and out of shops and the air conditioning is on, hydration can be an issue and we can get dryness. You can get dryness just by the fact that it's stressful this time of year in air conditioning, in heating, sat in your car with the heating on as well, you need a little booster. Now, there's lots of hyaluronic acids out there, but I wanted to talk about regular L'Oreal shop-bought, these two. These are fab. Now, this is their face hyaluronic acid, and this is their eye one. Their eye one is great. The eye one is 2.5%. The face is 1.5% hyaluronic acid. It has a great little applicator for the under eyes, super cooling, super easy to use, really good quality hyaluronic acid, perfect. You don't need to spend a fortune. I saw a hyaluronic acid out there that was 98 pounds. It was like $112. It's hyaluronic acid. It is so straightforward. Now, the only thing I'd say is with hyaluronic acid, low molecular weight hyaluronic acid penetrates deeper. High molecular weight hyaluronic acid sorts out the surface. Now, you want really both because you want to obviously hydrate the surface where you've got your dry flaky bits and then you want it to go deeper so it plumps out your cells and makes you look dewy and youthful. This one really does a fab job. Now that's coming from an aesthetician with over 30 years in skincare 
love these two so I thought I would mention those because it doesn't always have to be expensive right and of course you saw me use it last week this is my absolute super fave give it a shake open it up oh it's just so gorgeous it is the Korean de Alba it is the Italian truffle oil spray don't let oil frighten you you saw as I shook it up it separates so you do need to shake it it just really hydrates and it's just like luxury quick spritz of luxury love that simple hydration obviously I've got other things in my skincare routine but I wanted to share those with you so let's talk about natural beauty now a lot of comments sometimes especially when I'm talking about things like uh, skin boosters or micro needling I sometimes get comments that say why can't you just age gracefully why can't you just be natural now I just wanted to talk about what that means I think that the lines have definitely become blurred between augmented and natural and it is down to social media and it's down to films photography magazines you name it the media at the end of the day and I was sitting listening to a conversation with a couple of girls who were chatting they must have been in their mid-20s probably earlier probably younger than that if I'm honest and they were saying about a woman they were looking at this beautiful silver-haired model and saying oh my gosh she looks much older than 50 and I realized that actually the problem is it's not the girls the girls have been fed a certain image of what a 50 plus year old woman looks like that isn't real totally unrealistic so all of these comments about you know you look older than your years and I get them like I'll put my you know I'll say I'm 55 and I'll get the odd comment where you look much older you look 65 you look 70 <laughs> And it makes me laugh because I know I don't look like 30 years older than 55, but also so what? And why do you care? And why are you making that comment? Well, I think the real, the realistic thing, I think the thing is, the problem is that the younger generation are being fed images, have grown up with filters, images of models that have been airbrushed and women that are supposed to be 50 plus have been airbrushed and filtered and are packed, loaded with cosmetic injectables or have had facelifts. Now, there's no shame there. I am a mediesthetician after all. I've had Botox and I do have skin boosters, which are tiny little injectables that help hydrate the skin and encourage collagen growth. And I think it's fabulous. What I don't agree with is not admitting it. I think it's really important to be transparent. So I wanted to talk about Pamela Anderson and yes I know that you've probably already seen it and you've heard about it but she was in the news again this past week because she's launching her own skincare line and it's there's no surprises there I mean I saw that coming from a million miles away and I think the whole isn't she brave uh, you know rhetoric is a little bit annoying you know she took her makeup off but she's a multi-millionaire and she's had cosmetic treatments ladies to say otherwise is making us look stupid we're not stupid it's dumbing us down she's had cosmetic treatments but I don't think she has ever denied it I think it's the media and it is almost the impression that they want to leave with us that you know she's had nothing done and that she's a natural beauty and I think the issue I'm taking with this <laughs> is I'm getting a bit worked up I think the reason I wanted to mention this is she's so beautiful with no makeup or you know very little makeup that this can make us feel less than too so what I wanted to say to you is this do not be deceived do not be hoodwinked Pamela Anderson is beautiful she's stunning and she has had cosmetic treatments because at 50 plus nobody's eyes don't show the signs of aging uh, unless you've had you've had you know filler or some kind of laser or some kind of facelift and I'm all for natural beauty and being transparent in fact this channel 
I am dedicated to helping women 40 plus with their skincare choices. And if they needed to discuss injectables, I'm open about discussing that. In fact, it's important that we have these conversations so we know what's available. But I really don't want to be told that somebody has, you know, has natural beauty and no treatments when they, it's very clear that they have. And I think that this is what we need to be aware of. So Pamela Anderson's skincare range is all natural. I think she is a real advocate for rosehip oil. As you know, I am on this channel amongst other oils, um, which is wonderful. But I do think we also need to be awake to the fact that marketing can really make us feel less than, can make us feel like we are in some way aging rapidly or quicker than somebody else. And it simply isn't the truth. Turn off these lights, you will see many more of my flaws. These studio lights hide a multitude of, of sins, to be honest with you. And I'm not turning them off, so don't ask. Anyway, girls, that is my quick roundup. I wanted to talk about hydration. If you're upping your tretinoin or your actives, you need to also up your hydration, super important. I really like these two little products. They're fabulous, very affordable, and they do work. Love those. You don't have to spend a fortune. $100 or 100 pounds for a hyaluronic acid is a waste of your money. Get something that's affordable. And remember ladies, stop comparing yourself to Pamela Anderson or anybody for that matter, whether they're your age or not. It's easy to get comparison overwhelm and definitely social media never really tells the full story. I do hope you enjoyed this catch up. I did. Let me know in the comments if you found any of it useful and I will see you at the weekend for some more beauty, skincare and fabulous fun. Until then, bye for now.